Hello guys, and uh, welcome to uh, part 2 of uh, this tutorial. Um, so we are going to continue our work. Um, so first off, we are going to create some more animations for the player. We're going to create one that is called Air, because uh, it is the animation that plays when the player is in air. Um, call the player air. Um, so this is just going to be let's find a suitable one for he. Um, yeah, this one is this one is fine. It looks like he is a uh, he's in the air. Um, so yeah, that was a simple animation. Um, now we have everything here, and now we're going into the animator. So you can access it by going to window and animator right here. Um, so click on the player, and then you can see we have our animations here. Um, so let's just set this up like this. So we're gonna connect. Uh, these animations together so uh, we can transition between them. Um, first off, we're going to create our pa param parameters. Uh, parameters, or what do you call? It? I don't know what you call it, but uh, we're going to create one that is called speed, um, and one which is called grounded. And this is a boolean, float and boolean. Um, so we are going to create a transition by right clicking the animation and clicking make transition and let's make it between idle and walk and back again. Um, so click on the arrow then you can um, go down and add some conditions. So uh, for transitioning between uh, from going from idle to player walk, uh, the speed has to be greater than uh, 0 0.1 and we have to be grounded. And going back again, the speed has to be less than 0 0.1 and we have to be grounded again. And now we let's make the Transitions between the air and idle. Um, go down to conditions again. And the speed doesn't matter, it's just grounded. And if ground is false, then we are in air. And let's make it back again to idle. Uh, less than 0 0.1. And let's check if we are grounded. And then make a transition to play walk. And back again. And we are going to say if speed is greater than 0 0.1, which means we are moving. And if we are grounded. And then back to player air if grounded is false. So you can see we have these things here. Um, the way we're going to set them is by scripting. So we are going to start on our movement script. Um, but first I'll just set up the camera. So you can see here the game view. I uh, guess I set the size to something smaller. Yeah. This seems fine. Um, and yeah, so we are going to create a new folder called scripts, and we are going to create a new script, C script, C sharp script called uh, player. 
here we are going to attach this to the player and then we are going to edit it um, I have uh, Visual Studio so I just have to do something else uh, to open it up um, so just here we are the player script um, what's this close so let me just remove what is going on why what wait a minute guys I am back again um so to start off with we are going to create our variables um so we need a uh, a public float called speed and we're just going to set it to 50 for now um and a public float uh jump power um 150 and we are going to create a boolean called uh, grounded. All right. Um. Um. So. Ah, <laughs> wait a minute. So, these three variables. Um. Uh, the first one is uh speed, which is the speed of the player. Jump power is high. How how high the player jumps, in grounded. Uh, it's being used if to check if the player is on ground or not. So I just created a fixed update, and we are going to use that for 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 the physics movement. So we are going to first off create a new variable called um private rigid body 2d or b 2d and uh, set it to be a uh, game object that get component rigid body 2d so this means uh, this is our, our rigid body which is attached on the player so we can access that and add force to it um, so we are going to say, um, just going to create a new variable called uh, float h, which is going to be input get uh, get axis uh, horizontal. Um, so this is a uh, the uh, uh, left arrow and right arrow and A and D buttons so yeah now we are going to do our B2D dot add force we, we are going to say vector 2 dot right times H times wait a minute uh, times what do you say speed times h um so this line of code should uh move the player if we press left or right h is the input axis uh, uh the x axis because it's horizontal which is left and right um so if we press left H is going to be minus one, and if we press uh, the right arrow, H is going to be a uh, positive one. So this basically means, um, I guess we're going to need to set a par parentheses here. Um, vector two to the right times speed 
is um the speed we are going uh, on the x-axis and h uh, is either minus one or plus one which means um, uh, that the speed of the player is either going to be negative or positive because it's going to be multiplied by h um, so I hope you understand what I just said um, so let's see if we get any errors and let's try to see if this worked um, yeah and it did as you can see um, that was pretty basic um,